This is disgraceful. Jamaica's under 24 by 100 meter world record was not ratified. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, which is about once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And uh, finally, leave your comments after this. Sports analysis, where we take a look at and break down the races. And then we take a look at your comments so stay until the end you just might hear from yourself when you're ready yep good to go so the girls four by 100 meter on the 20 world record set by serena cole tina clayton brianna liston and tia clayton at the carifta games recently was not rat ratified by the world athletics authority now let me explain when a world record takes place in track and field the governing athletic body globally has to ratify meaning they will take a look at that world record and if it meets all the marks or passes all of the marks then they will officially state that it is a world record and in so doing they ratify that world record well, on Wednesday, World Athletics, the global governing body of track and field, published in their monthly newsletter that the record of 42.48 seconds set by the Jamaican Quartet at the recently held Carifta Games in Kingston in mid-April would not be ratified as only three of the four athletes had been drug tested after the race, uh, an apparent contravention of the rules. Uh, meaning uh, something that clearly went against the World Athletics rules. Now, the J3A on Wednesday identified the athlete who was not tested as Tina Clayton. Tina Clayton should have been tested along with the other athletes from the 4 by 100 meter women's quartet um, on the very day of the record meaning the day that they broke the actual record but she was not tested now let me state this clearly tina clayton is not to be blamed she did nothing wrong she was available she simply was not tested so who is to be blamed Now, after this press release, there was a back and forth as people were trying to, let's say, no one's taking responsibility for this faux pas, this, this massive error of judgment that was made. And let me tell you something, people. On a personal level, I took this personally. These girls worked really hard. Their coaches worked really hard. This was the highlight of the Carifta Games. This was it. This massive lowering of the world record. So... Uh, the chairman of the Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission, the JADCO, Alexander Williams, said his organization, his organization was at fault for yesterday's announcement that an under-20 girls 4 by 100 meter time set at the Carifta Games in April would not be ratified by the track and field governing body of World Athletics. Well, at least someone took responsibility for this madness. Mr. Williams went on to state, this is an explanation and not an excuse. JADCO dropped the ball on this and JADCO is at fault, he said. I want to apologize to the J3A, to the athletes and to, the, to Jamaica for this blunder because it is a blunder. It is far reaching and I'm going to do all that i can do to ensure that this 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 does not happen again now the thing is people to set a world record you need several factors in terms of condition uh wind reading right astroturf right right conditions and we although we i believe that we're going to again break this record at the world upcoming world under 20 we have no guarantee one of these athletes could be injured god forbid um anything could happen 
so this is a really horrific blunder by the jadco now uh we know that the the record that still holds was set by jamaica at last year's um run in the women's four by 100 meters at the world under 20 in nairobi kenya that of course of uh, trio that quartet of runners uh, was serena cole um then she handed off to tina clayton who handed off to then karika hill who then handed off to tia clayton that record set by those four was a time of 42.94 uh set of course at the world under 20 athletic championships in nairobi kenya in 2021 Michael Dyke of Edwin Allen, the famous Edwin Allen coach, reacting to this horrific news, um, stated, I am naturally disappointed because we would have celebrated this record already. And come and hear this is this at this moment, it has really put a damper on the young ladies who would have done so well and been highlighted all over the world. And this is why I say, people, this is disgraceful. I mean, you know, I don't normally use these strong terms, but look um jamaica we're not dibby dibby okay for those of you who are not jamaicans dibby dibby means that you know we, we, we didn't just get here we're not just some little unimportant place in terms of track and field we are a looming and and a bright light in the in the landscape of track and field we are arguably the number one um sprint factory globally well certainly in terms of um just statistically uh, for a country three million people we have produced more sprint stars world records etc than any other country including grand old united states so for this kind of error to be made by this organization that has been doing this and processing this for years is just <sighs> why you know people my father used to say to err is human and to forgive is divine but this one this one this one hurt people this one hurt me deep deep in my soul people this one hurt well uh, today the 2nd of june it was reported i believe in the jamaican observer by paul reed that um jadco the anti-doping agency out of jamaica will be contesting this um non-ratification they believe that they have a strong enough leg to stand on although they admit that they erred um, I won't get into the details of that, but I'm hoping against hope that we get receive good news. Otherwise, people, look, I, yeah, they're, no, they're, I'm, I'm stumbling over my, I'm, I took this personally. I took it personally. I know hard athletes have to work. I used to run for KC. I'm, I was no great athlete, but I know the sacrifices that these young ladies have would have made. And um, as I said, we have no guarantee, although I am 100% certain that we will shatter that record coming at the world um, athletics on the 20 championship in 2022 but i'm saying any anything can play they can go there and it's rainy windy it can just be a terrible conditions and you need all these factors to sort of come together to make it perfect and make it as one jad could do better not do better please you know what i'm getting to jamaican please as an agency that has been representing the country perfectly for years i can forgive you i think we all can forgive you but you can't make this happen again. This is, you know, they say you should never have dead air on. Uh, I mean, you know, clearly, you know, here's some emo me emotional about this. I, I was really, I was upset personally, like I made it run and, and, and me run. We cannot at this level be making these kind of mistakes. We are Jamaica. We cannot be making these errors. No. As I say, my dad say, to err is human, to forgive is divine. This is the only time I've ever heard of this happening with Jadko. Please, Jadko, Mr. Williams, I'm begging you, don't make this happen again. This is madness. This is disgraceful. Don't make this happen again. Because I'm going to state it again, people. There is, we cannot guarantee. We know that these four girls, once they're healthy, can break the record. But we don't know the conditions that they're going to be running in. You know, it, we don't know we don't know because like i said to break a record several things have to come together for it to happen anyway 
that's just my two cents please guys forgive me i tried not to be emotional on these things but i was really personally upset by this so let's take a look at your comments these comments come from when the girls broke this 4x100 meter under 20 world record. Victor Pusey Brown wrote, Wow, Jamaica, so thrilling to see the Jamaican team conquering both track and field events. Our future looks very bright. One love, one heart. The team blend together and became victory for the Carifta 49th Games. Damien Chambers wrote, love, 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 love. Don't stop. Keep on doing what you're, you're, you guys are you, you guys doing. You are all stars. Queen Sharon Moliere wrote, we are very, very proud of the girls. Good job. Well done. Stay blessed, Jamaica. Team Jamaica. We pray that Jamaica will, will start pay these kids to run. Boy, Sharon, they can't do that. If they do that, the girls, they will become professional athletes and that will be a whole other kettle of fish. So they can't do that. But I understand the sentiment. So I decided to include this um, on that same video. Kimoya plays, wrote, very disappointed, thought that I would have seen the relay. What was shown, I have already seen and heard. Do, do, don't see any reason to like this video. Okay, I understood your sentiment, but I've tried to explain this. But I was very happy when Andrea Gray, Queen Andrea Gray, answered King Kimoy, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Kimoya, Queen Kimoya, and said, if you care to see the full uh, race, check YouTube on the Carifta 49. The reason why it was not shown is because the company that had right to the filming would not allow it to be shown because of copyright infringement. Thank you so very much for explaining that. It means so much. Love you, love you, love you for doing that, Queen. All right, go in, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, leave your comments, please. Big up the girls and make them feel like they're better because I know they're very disappointed. Big them up, big them up in, in the comments. You are kings and queens. Bless up.